may remember this from my last uh, Windows 7 video. Um, at the moment I have uh, Windows Vista running on here. Um, this is kind of my all-use computer. This is actually, uh, nowadays I'm using this primarily as my school computer because I don't want my MacBook to be stolen. Um, so really what I need is just something that's a portable web browser and word processor and something that I can read PDF files on. So I'm going to, I've downloaded the file. I have burnt the image. So now we're going to start the installation process. Yes, we're going to continue. Probably see me there in the background with my uh, somewhat disturbing hair this morning. Now, I installed the beta on this, and it was actually fairly quick. So, we're going to see how quickly uh, RC1 installs. Although, the last time I installed this, it was from Windows XP. This is actually my first time installing this on Vista, and if you watch some of my other computers, I've also had Windows 7 running on uh, on both my Mac and my main PC, or my MacBook and my main PC through VMware Fusion. Here we go, Windows 7. Check compatibility online. Nope, I already know it's compatible. Install now. And as I said in my other video, this is the computer that just keeps going. Over three years old now. I've literally put this thing through hell. Still the most reliable computer I've ever had, considering especially the 1500 after tax that I paid for my MacBook, plus the upgrades I've been to it, the amount of times I've had to fix that thing and bring it in for warranty repairs with service issues and rather terrible service I've gotten uh, from my authorized Mac dealer, although I made another video on that, so I'm not going to go into that right now. Uh, so right now it's copying temporary files. Hey, okay, now setup is starting. This isn't uh, real time, I'm kind of editing this out so this video doesn't end up being a lot longer than it needs to be. Although it may also not be one of my more interesting videos, and I'm sure you can hear I'm drinking coffee in the background while I'm doing this. Okay, so next screen. Do you want to get the latest updates for installation? Yes. Um, I always recommend doing that because it can save you a lot of headaches. So just take a second while it searches. Okay, so now we have our updates. Installation is restarting again. Please wait. And then of course we have this crap where we sell our soul to Microsoft. I don't know if anyone has actually ever read this. Not that I trust them. Okay, so when you get to this screen right here, it says upgrade or custom advance. Now upgrade, what it will do is, well, a standard software upgrade. It takes the windows that you have right now and upgrades it to Windows 7. If you have Windows XP, you don't want to do that option. If you have Windows Vista, It'll work better than it did with XP, although XP will probably upgrade better to Windows 7 than Windows Vista because of Windows XP mode within Windows 7, and that's, yeah, I'll go into that at some other time. But for what I'm going to do right now, because this is a beta, I'm going to go Custom Advanced. What that does is it installs a new copy, or a clean copy of Windows 7 on your computer, but all your old documents and stuff like that will not be lost. Uh, just go into uh, your C drive, look for a folder called Windows Old and everything that was on the original computer before the install was there. Um, and yeah, I have to clean off some space in that hard drive, but I do have enough for the installation. So we're going to install this obviously on our C drive. There we go. Partition might contain 
files from a previous Windows installation, it will be stored in Windows old. Okay. And anyone who has upgraded Windows or installed Windows will recognize this screen. So I'm not going to make you wait for this. I will be back momentarily. Okay, and part way through uh, the installation process, your computer will restart. Then we'll bring on the Windows 7 startup look. But upon restarting, it will go right back into the installation process. Setup is starting. Still installing Windows. And then back into the installation screen. So, right now expanding the files. Then once it has, the computer has finally gotten through the setup window, it, the computer will restart again. Then you'll get to a screen that says setup is starting services. The computer will then briefly go back to the installation screen where it completes installation. Uh, this will probably take a few minutes. And briefly, you'll probably notice your screen change as it readjusts to the proper resolution. And then after the computer has gotten through the setup process, you'll get this message that you probably remember from previous versions. Setup is preparing to use your computer for the first time. Setup is checking video performance. It's a little bit more specific here as to what exactly it's doing at any given time during the setup than Windows Vista was. Uh, Vista was just checking your computer's performance. Seeing as this is an older computer, its performance is quite low compared to the average spec from a computer today, but at least it can still run Arrow. And then after that, you'll get this usual Windows 7 Ultimate setup screen, which is identical to the setup screen from Windows Vista, except it says Windows 7. Followed by the usual name screen, which I tend to give the same name to every computer because I'm lazy. I'm not going to bother doing a password. Product key, which will just take a moment, and I'm not going to put that up on here because I don't want other people hijacking my product key, even though you can get it for free yourself. And after you have entered your key, I'm going to use recommended settings. Then choose your time zone, which I am. <laughs> Can't see through this thing. Eastern time, well, at least for me. Choose your network, security key. That will definitely not be on this video. There we go, and this will be my home network. Connecting to your network and applying your settings. Following that, your computer will once again restart. And we're back to setup is preparing your computer for first use after the restart has finished. And then immediately following that screen, we're back to the Windows 7 welcome screen. No fish this time. Preparing your desktop. And then there you go. Windows 7 has started up. And that brought you from installing a full version, or rather a clean version, of the Windows 7 beta from Windows Vista. So thank everyone for watching if anyone actually watched to the end of this video.